In this video, we will develop Game Activity class. It's an activity class where we are going to implement surfaceholder.callback. When an object of this class is created, it initializes surfaceholder and starts the thread. As I said, our Game Activity class implements surfaceholder.callback interface. And we need to override few methods like surface created, surface changed, and surface destroyed. Right click on package, click new, java class, and write game activity. This will extend app compat activity and implement. surface holder dot callback. Click on the red squiggly line, press alt enter and click implement methods. Select all three methods and click ok. Alright, we will get back to this later. In the class scope, declare game thread object reference. We will create this thread class later. Game thread, game thread. Declare a surface holder object reference. Surface holder, surface holder. Declare a surface view object reference. Private surface view. Service view. Semicolon. Declare a media player object reference. Media player. BTN underscore click. Semicolon. Meanwhile, I am going to copy my audio files and paste inside the raw directory. So create a new folder inside res called raw and paste the audio files inside that. We need to override on create method. So write on create just delete the second parameter call set content view and pass r dot layout dot activity underscore game instantiate btn underscore click btn underscore click equals to media player dot create for context pass this and for the second parameter pass r dot draw dot btn underscore click that is the audio file name. Get the surface view handle. Surface view equals to find view by id r dot id dot surface view. Add callback to surface view. Surface view dot get folder dot add callback and pass this surface view dot 
set focusable and pass true. Call static method initialization of app constants class that will initialize all game constants. Pass game activity dot this for context. App constants dot initialization open close parenthesis game activity dot this and don't worry about this class we will define this class very soon in the surface created method save the received surface holder object in this class's surface holder object using this surface holder object we will lock the canvas draw on canvas and then unlock canvas and post the update inside game thread right this dot surface holder equals to surface holder instantiate a game thread object and pass surface holder in the constructor game thread equals to new game thread open close parenthesis semicolon within parenthesis pass surface holder we will also define this class game thread very soon next check the thread state if it is not running we will create a new game thread object and start the thread else we will simply call start method on game thread object if not game thread dot is running open close parenthesis game thread equals to new game thread open close parenthesis semicolon surface holder in the parameter call game thread dot start method else game thread dot start in surface change method get the surface views width and height and save in corresponding static variables of app constants class we will create app constants class later for storing values in various static variables app constants dot surface view width equals to surface view dot get width app constants dot surface view height equals to surface view dot get height in surface destroyed if the thread is running we will set the flag is running to false flag that determines whether the thread is running or not next we define another boolean flag called retry and initialize true and in a while loop we will call join method on game thread it will put the current thread on wait until the ui thread on which it is called is dead if thread is interrupted 
then it will throw interrupted exception. Game thread dot set is running false. Boolean retry equals to true semicolon while retry game thread dot join retry equals to false wrap these two codes in try block try catch interrupt exception e Define change snake direction method now. Go to activity underscore game dot xml. Go to code. Click on the red squiggly line. Press Alt Enter. And click create change snake direction in game activity. Which will basically auto generate our method. Once one of the four buttons is clicked, start playing button click sound effect if btn underscore click not equals to null open close curly brace btn underscore click dot start semicolon get the tag from clicked image button and store in a string string movement equals to view dot get tag dot to string semicolon use a switch statement for changing the moving position string in game engine class switch Moment open close curly brace case within double quotes right top check if previous moving position is not bottom in this case snake cannot move for example if snake is moving to bottom then snake cannot directly start moving to top snake must take right or left first then top if not app constants dot get game engine open close parenthesis dot Moving position dot equals bottom copy this part app constants dot get game engine dot moving position equals to then double quotes right top semicolon break similarly if snake is moving to top then snake cannot directly start moving to bottom it must take left or right first then bottom so just copy these lines 
and paste below the second case constant should be bottom here write top and here write bottom if snake is moving to right then snake cannot directly start moving to left it must take top or bottom first then left i will paste my code snippet over here here change this to left this should be right and this should be left and if snake is moving to left then snake cannot directly start moving to right it must take top or bottom first then right paste the code here here it should be right it should be left and it should be right that's all for this lecture see you in the next lecture